Welcome back to the following life. I'm Travis, your tutor guide, finding everything you want to find. On today's episode, we are going to show you where to bring those 15 unknown rocks and what you're going to get back in your turn for all this hard work. So on this map, you're going to be able to see the location right next towards the dam. You're going to scroll all the way down. This is the house you want. You're going to go inside here at night, you put all those rocks down, and you will be amazed by a little video. I'm not going to spoil it, but we're just going to put these rocks in as quickly as we can and get straight into the video. All right, I hope everyone enjoyed that video. I know I did when I watched it for the very first time. But you're left with uh, five rounds of ammunition and a new weapon, and that's it. Everything is back in your storage and your safe house. Now, I didn't know this at the time when I felt this, but I didn't realize that this weapon does nothing, and I repeat, nothing to the Vault Eyes. It doesn't damage them, doesn't kill them. So, as a result, I just died a horrible death. All right, we're getting one step further on this little adventure of ours. I'm going to show you on this map where to be able to actually find not only one, but two different items. One's a blueprint, and the other one is an outfit. Now, this location I'm pointing at right now is the David and Goliath location, the freaks of nature that you will be able to find in the Dying Light following map. Now, once you've killed... Uh, David and Goliath, it'll make it a lot easier to find the UFO crash site. That's exactly what we're doing right now. No, you need to have had done all the location finds of the unknown rock and gone through that little video that you guys just saw earlier. Otherwise, it will not trigger this event and you will not see the UFO. You will not be able to get the uh, outfit which is called Stargazer Outfit, and you will not be able to get the uh, blueprint to be able to make the ammunition for the uh, gun that you just received. All right, so make sure you collect all the rocks, and then you can be able to find this UFO down in the water side here. All right, moving straight along, I'm going to show you guys what the Stargazer outfit looks like, and here you go. That's what it looks like, everyone. We are going to be looking at the blueprints now, and you're, first off, you're going to need an anti-gun, and you're going to need duct tape, power cables, electronics, batteries, and metal parts to be able to create this bad boy. Now, we're going to look at the ammunition for this. You're going to need electronics, you're going to need batteries, power cables, and metal parts. Now. For these bullets, you can only create one at a time. In addition to that, you can only be able to make 15 and carry 15 at once. Now, the reason behind that, I will show in the demonstrations as to why that is and why Techland chose to do that. Now, you're probably wondering, where do I get this anti-gun? From this guy, after doing a mission in Old Town called Spider Legs. Now, I'm going to craft one right here. Uh, I have an anti-gun. So I do have the blueprint now, I'm just going to create one, but now I have not one, but two. One is an orange tier weapon, and the other one's just the regular. But, they both do the same amount of damage. And the demonstration you'll see. 
All right, the fun time of the video demonstration on seeing what this puppy can do. We're coming up on Rice's men. They're putting up their arms, but they stand no chance. They got a rocket strapped out of their backs. And they're going to blow up in existence now with all this noise. You're thinking, hey, what about runners? Can they be killed with this thing too? And yep, they sure can, just like the rest of them. Now we're going to look at nighttime now. This is what it's going to be looking like. It glows, it looks fun, and man oh man, it looks spectacular glowing in its glory. Now, the only downside to using this thing at night is like I mentioned before in this uh, part of this video, is that this thing will not work on volatile. Now, if you look, you can't really see where you're aiming this thing. So that's an, also another downside on trying to aim this guy from afar and I bet I was just like throughout the daytime it's gonna explode make noise and create more uh, zombies to come in your location now I'm gonna get out of the dog and zip on out of there because I don't want to get attacked by volatiles everyone and the uh, safe house is right there so I'm in safe good distance there's another runner that's coming but before you know it, I'm going to have volatiles coming, and sure enough, there's one right there, and again, it's not doing nothing. It kind of pushed and annoyed him a little bit, but it didn't do nothing. I'm um, getting back in the safe house. This is Travis, your tour guide, finding everything you want to find. In this episode, we not only looked at where all 15 locations were, where to bring them, the experience of seeing those two funny chicken sticks. Found some blueprints, some cool stuff along the way. I got to show you what it all does. But if you wouldn't mind giving me a like and maybe possibly subscribe and leave some comments. This is your tour guide, Travis. Good night and good luck.